Yes, the heater's on, and that's because uh, it is winter, again, in Montana. It's, uh, we're under a winter, winter storm warning right now here in Montana, in our part of the Mon Mon Montana. As I told you before, my daughter uh, has been diagnosed with cancer. And she was given six months about a month ago. On Saturday, this last Saturday, she went into cardiac arrest around 6 p.m. And uh, she passed away at 9 p.m. She went peacefully. And I think in the long run, it was a good thing because she had bone cancer, and from what I'm understanding, that is probably one of the most painful cancers you can have. And she was looking forward to months of pain and deterioration of physical health and dependency on family and such. And she just wasn't that type of person. She wanted to go with dignity. But uh, I think God chose to take her now to save her the pain and the suffering. It's been a hard weekend. But it's Monday. I can't sit and dwell on my pain. Losing a daughter or a son where a parent is, I can't even tell you how painful that is. But I want to thank everybody who donated to her GoFundMe page. That meant a lot to me and to her. And uh, no funeral because of coronavirus. She wasn't allowed any family or friends to visit her the whole nearly three months in the hospital. She had to do this on her own with just doctors and nurses. <coughs> and I think that hurts probably more than anything uh, knowing that but at the end, she had her mom, her son, my son, and her ex-boyfriend there in the room with her. Uh, my grandson, Vincent, who is just so strong. And uh, he asked the doctors, how do you do this? How do you... How can you handle this sort of thing? That uh, showed a lot of strength. My son, Jason, gave her kisses on the forehead. And uh, took a photograph of uh, the sunset outside at the time she was it passed away. And so I'm sharing that here, that picture. The beautiful sunset over the Salt Lake Valley. That's where she was, is down in uh, South Salt Lake. Uh, it's time to get to work on this clay and try to finish it up today or tomorrow. And uh, again, thank you all. Time to play with some clay. probably going to add a couple hundred dollars, but <laughs> I don't know how much it would cost, but I, I kind of want just a little bit more indication of the wind blowing, and uh, figure it out. Now, 
I'll be transporting this down to uh, Jackson Hole. I've got a friend that's uh, a, a volunteer of EMT, and and uh, they're just going to find out whether they can take a day off and go down there or what the schedule is, they, they can pretty much set their days off because they're volunteer. But she just doesn't want to do that when somebody else is not there too. So just got to make sure it all works out. I'd do it on my own, but I don't know how good my eyes are. Uh, like a, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, or two years, um, actually two years ago, I went blind in my right eye and uh, the vision in my left eye wasn't all that good either. And I had to go to a ophthalmologist and uh, I took about five shots in that eye, to, the right eye, to clear it up, and it cleared it up, but they found a macular hole there, and I was supposed to get an operation a year ago, January, but never did because it requires me keeping my head down for a week or two after the operation. I mean, down 24 hours a day, sitting up and I just uh, can't do that in the house that I'm in now because uh, the restroom is downstairs and uh, it's, it'd be hard to fix my meals and run up and down the stairs whenever I had to I am an old guy I mean old people tend to go to the uh, restroom a little bit more often than young people mm. if you get my drift so I see fine. I just, uh, my eyes do get tired though. And I'm afraid of long trips because of that. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I like that a little bit. Don't want to overdo it. When you're a sculptor and you're doing a human, you've got to be a hairdresser too, because uh, if the hair doesn't match the personality, um, it throws off the whole piece. So let me explain what's going to happen when I put this in the gallery. It's going to be in clay. And uh, what they do is they display it in clay and try to get orders taken off of the clay for a bronze. And they'll keep that through the summer. And, and then uh, at the end of summer, uh, we pick it up and take it to the foundry and you cast it up uh, and fill, fulfill the orders that we got over the summer, if we got any orders. 
But anyway, it's just uh, a way of getting something in bronze that uh, costs a lot of money to start off with. This this will be probably close to four thousand to cast this the first time, and that's because you got a latex rubber mold cost at the beginning. And uh, that's a one-time cost. And then after that, it's just the uh, cost of uh, reproducing the bronzes, which is about half of what the uh, total cost of uh, the first initial cost is. Artists don't make hardly any money off the first bronze they have to sell at least three or four just to make any money mm, not sure I like that nah just an idea And there's much, it wasn't much to do. I'm just uh, getting this to the point. I'm going to make his uh, scalp lock. And uh, warriors would wear a braided scalp lock. Um, and it was a uh, kind of like come and take it if you want to try type of thing. <clears throat> All right, I got the uh, scalp lock uh, <clears throat> on, and I'm just going to do a ribbon that ties the end of the uh, scalp lock so that it doesn't unbraid. unbraid. Well, that's uh, crazy horse. For now, I've uh, attached his uh, scalp lock. Uh, got the leather ties at the end of the uh, the braid to hold it together. I've got cleaning up to do yet, but uh, I'll do that another day. Uh, it's getting late in the evening now. I like the way it looks. I'm happy with the uh, piece, and uh, I'll let you know when we're taking it down to Jackson Hole. I hope to be able to video that trip. So. All right, good night, everybody, and uh, stay healthy, I pray, and stay safe. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.